Hi, Big Bear Movement. Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing today? My name is Joanne Serenity. For those of you who don't know me, it is so nice to get acquainted with you. Thank you for watching. Today, I felt very strongly to do a special treat for you, to give you a gift to try and help you through some tough times. For those of you who don't know yet, I do what is called inspired singing, also known as intuitive or channel singing. So what I will do is I will put out the intent to a higher consciousness, if you don't believe in a higher power, light any energy. The intention is to please bless me with the words and the melody on the spot that the individual or collective, whomever I'm doing this for, group of people, need to hear most. This has been an incredible journey and it seems to be really touching the hearts and lives of others and so I hope that this will help you through whatever is going on in your lives. So thank you again for watching. Thank you for blessing my life and this world and this whole universe with your presence of being. I love you. Mahalo. Sometimes I will incorporate different instrumentals, hand movements, body type things so we'll just see how it goes I never know what's kind of come out I usually end up forgetting very quickly after I've sung it the words and the melody it just comes straight through and then that's that if I have a recording to listen to it I'll uh, get to hear it and if not it's, it's just out there for whomever got to receive it I know things seem like they're slow down Even with the world starting to wake up again I know things feel a little sluggish right now Oh, 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 oh. Darkness falls, and you're closed in, feeling horrible, and yet a light tries to flicker in. You shun yourself because you feel overwhelmed. You don't know what to do or where or Suffocating, suffocating, you're coughing, suffocating, you don't know what to do with the weight of force going on inside you. You feel chained, you feel shackled, 
No one asked your permission, get out of my way I didn't mean to go within like this I felt forced The weight is crushing me Get it out of here But then a lightness floats around you You don't know what to do, but it's around you. And you know it'll be okay, even though your doubts are out. Oh, oh, and even though you don't know what to do right now. There's a voice that's speaking inside of you deep down. When will you learn the lesson of love? Isn't scary, don't worry, I know it feels frightening. But you learn it in your own time. afraid and yet it's okay to feel what you've got to feel a message coming through really strong right now that it's going to be okay no matter what things seem like world is going to hell in a handbasket no that's only the illusion how things appear to be now sickness spreading around and you feel like your world is caving down and you feel shackled in and chained right now and you suffocate and don't know what to do there is light coming in for you your transformation caterpillar butterfly is emerging phoenix arising oh you're the phoenix arising The diamond was formed, was formed. I know you don't feel it'll be okay. When you feel this uncertainty, go into nature, into a special place, a favorite place. And if you can't go within you, there is so much love. Inside of you Go within It's okay There's a rainbow Emerging From the clouds Thank you so much for watching. Love and light to you. I understand these times are uncertain and they're hard and they can be overwhelming and daunting at best sometimes. So what the Mayor Movement is all trying to do is to help create a place of support and healing, a place that you can feel like you can come to and be heard and seen and, and have a light shine in, in this world that reconnects with the light that you are, that you've always been, and sparks that life back inside of you. We're here, we're gonna do our best to help you to see how amazing this world can be even during tumultuous times. And you know, it's not always gonna feel okay, but that's why we're all in this together. 
and I wanted to show just something quick and cool with you that I thought would be really neat to share. Just a fun little thing to conclude this video. Yesterday, I see this beautiful plant here. I came outside and I saw all these flowers and there was one that had detached from it completely. And it was interesting because I had just come outside, I was going to write a letter, I love snail mail so I was going to write a pen pal a letter. And I decided to take this flower and I just set it down on top of the soil. Now at the time I thought I put it into the soil because I was curious to see what would happen if I replanted it, would it stay alive? But it was so funny because just just maybe about 18 hours later, I mean, night and day has passed. I forgot to bring it inside, put it in some water like I was debating doing. And I thought I planted it and I didn't. I found this guy today still alive, but he wasn't actually planted in the soil like I thought. I had just set him down. And that's really symbolic. I really feel like that is a really cool thing. I mean, here you've got these other flowers that have already wilted. You pick any flower and what? An hour out of water it's wilted? If, if that, for some, right? And yet this guy, at least 18 hours, if not closer to 24 here, went through a night, the whole darkness of the night. This little flower completely detached, seemingly detached, from its resources, its water, its, its earth, its nutrients, seemingly detached from absolutely everything that would give it life. And yet it stayed alive throughout the darkest of the night, a cloudy night, there was no moon and stars out that I saw. It managed to weather cold and it managed to weather heat and wind no matter how detached we feel right now, especially during these circumstances, there is, we're all made up of energy and there is light inside of us that is giving us life. So even if you don't feel like this is, you resonate with a higher consciousness or higher power or something giving you hope in that way, know that we are all made up of energy, that we all are made up of this beautiful, of beautiful light energy. You know, we emit photons, photons is light energy. So at a very basic level, we have a source of strength within us that is pulsating through us and helping us to get through times like this. And no matter how dark things seem, if this flower can survive that long, without support, then I guarantee you, you've got the strength in you to get through these times and we're here to help in the best way that we can. Love and light, I love you. Mahalo and aloha.